Why is Brett Roper, the gentleman right here, so loyal to Fred Phelps? Fred Phelps even let him marry his daughter, Shirley Phelps Roper. Fred Phelps is such an evil, hateful man, everybody says. He's 100% evil and hateful, everyone says. He has no good qualities whatsoever, everyone says. So why is Brett Roper so loyal? Some would say it's because he is so misled, he's so foolish. Could it be because Fred Phelps did something very kind and decent to him? Interestingly enough, I learned in the book Addicted to Hate, which is a book very critical of Fred Phelps, that Brett Roper was homeless at one time and Fred Phelps took him in and let him live with him. Not only that, he helped him get pulled up and get through law school. And if you do that for somebody, aren't they going to be loyal to you for life? I would certainly think so. He could, they could appreciate that. Westboro Baptist Church adopted Brett Roper and he was married to Shirley Phelps Roper. And if Fred Phelps gives you his daughter, and he's very, very picky if you ever read anything or see anything, it says a lot about him. So it says there's something in that heart of, my, of his. Westboro Baptist Church also adopts other people. And if you've ever known anyone who's been adopted, it's a very alienating position because they're not accepted by their birth family for one reason or another. And it's great to have love shown towards them by somebody at least. Adoption is a beautiful thing. It's a way to be accepted for someone who is unaccepted. If you do what Fred Phelps did for Brett Roper, they will love you for life. And that's why even the most hated man out there has a good side. And when they adopt people and they raise them up and treat them beautifully, it's no wonder they're loyal.